the truth of the matter. Enterprise, Leonard Nimoy tells Extra about his new mission. And one sexy trio really has a sweet tooth and a sweet sound. We raid the candy store with Jade and... Two captains who have traveled the galaxies in the Starship Enterprise. They finally met on screen Friday in the movie Star Trek Generations. But is this universe big enough for the both of them? You're a Starfleet officer. You have a duty. I don't need to be lectured by you. I was out saving the galaxy when your grandfather was in diapers. Sparks fly as two generations of Starship Enterprise captains, William Shatner and Patrick Stewart, meet on screen for the first time ever in the latest Star Trek adventure. The seventh movie in the series is the first to feature the cast of the recently canceled hit TV show, Star Trek The Next Generation. The next generation takes over and away they go. I was very happy to see the closing of the TV series. I was, I was ready to move on from that. Seven years, I felt, had got close to not only exhausting me, but exhausting what I could give into the character. However, having seen the movie for the first time, I'm really quite pleased with it. We've got a great war here, sir. Is it a course for the Viridian system? Maximum war. A mysterious ribbon of energy that brings past and future together unites the two captains. Stewart enlists Shatner to help save the universe from an evil scientist played by Malcolm McDowell. The stake of the odds are against us, and the situation is grim. You could say that. You know, if Spock were here, he'd say that I was an irrational, illogical human being for taking on a mission like that. Sounds like fun. Speaking of Spock, America's favorite Vulcan won't be aboard the Enterprise. Actor Leonard Nimoy is on a new mission. Extra sought out the man known as Spock and found he has plenty of other projects to conquer. It's like Shakespeare's work. It, it transcends uh, time boundaries. Spoken like a true Trekkie. At science fiction and comic book conventions around the country, like these in Philadelphia, Connecticut, and Seattle, fans of the Star Trek phenomenon dress up... Oh, I like Klingons. <laughs> play Always see at these conventions. <laughs> and listen to what their favorite character has to say when spock died at the end of star trek 2 i thought that's it the spock is dead i mean really died you know leonard nimoy is a favorite on the sci-fi circuit he's earth's most famous vulcan spock we are hundreds of light years past where any earth ship has ever explored it's not an unpleasant thing to be identified with spock because the character has dignity and because it's an intelligent character, he's not some bozo. From 1966 to 1969, Nimoy was part of the original Star Trek, a series that launched a mega million dollar enterprise of new stars, merchandise, and movies, including Star Trek number seven, better known as Generations. But Nimoy isn't on this mission by his own choice. The script was done by the time they first called me and asked me to read it. and. Uh, I had some reservations about it. I didn't feel that I could do uh, and the kind of job that it, it deserved because I just didn't have a feeling for what was written. So I said, I'll take a pass. But that doesn't mean the man isn't busy. He's been a director on Three Men and a Baby and Star Trek Three and Four. So let me see you do the walk and talk, please. Hold it real quiet, Doug, please. Yeah. And now he's going in search of other worlds, like publishing. They are coming. The aliens are coming to Earth. Primortals is the new comic book series he's developed with scientist Isaac Asimov. In this colorful work of fiction, we've finally found intelligence out there in deep space, and they're not too happy. Those creatures have evolved into advanced, intelligent, technological species, and they are coming home in their own spaceships. It's not the first time Nimoy has ventured into literary spheres. In 1975, he wrote a book entitled I Am Not Spock, but things are different for him now. That was about 20 years ago. I think I've changed my mind. Maybe I am Spock. <laughs> Live long and prosper! <laughs> Nimoy hopes to conquer new media with his Primordial's comic books. He wants to see the comics turn into interactive CD-ROM games or even a TV series.